I mean, other Irish stories in this, you might have heard the terms for do, for do, for do. It loosely translates as long, long time ago. And that's where I'm going to start tonight's story, which is the Dagda's Harp. For do, for do, for do. There once was a great king called Dagda, the leader of the two for the Nanon, a great race, great magical race of Ireland. He was also a big giant with long black hair, big bushy beard, always wore a cloak. Most importantly though, he was the god of magic. And being god of magic, he had wonderful possessions. He had his cauldron of plenty that never ran empty. He had his mighty club that would destroy all his enemies and then when he got hurt we were saying the club would heal him. Most importantly though he had his most treasured possession was the magic harp Ufna. Now Ufna was made of wooden oak but more importantly she had gold enchanting strings. And the only person that could play with the course was Dagda. Now, we all know the harp is playing lovely music. But back then, this magical harp was actually a, a war harp. I want to say that. I mean, when Dagda played it, it made his men forget the fear. And they would go into battle and they would win. When they came home, they would play it would mend their hearts and they would think of those who had fallen with great pride. Most importantly, they had to enjoy playing the harp when he created the mel victories, victory melodies after they won battles. Now one of these battles was the second battle in Matoria, where the Tooth of Dunedin took on the destructive, horrible race, the Fremorians. And the Fremorians were led by the great Balor. You only have one eye. Now during this battle, some of the Fomorians had heard about the harp. And they snuck off and they stole the harp. Even though they couldn't play it, they knew this would take away Dagda's magical powers. When the battle was finished, which the Tooth of Alan won, of course, Dagda called out, Where is my harp? We can't celebrate without a song of victory, without me playing the melodies of victory. No harp came. He checked, his harp was gone. Who will come with me to find my harp? Then the battle of Matoria had been on for five years, five months, and five days. And they had just won. But within a second, Leo the arm, not no arm. I will go, my lord. I will go whenever you want me to go. Leo the long arm was the lord of storm and ready the battle when needed. The overlord, Lord Ogba, Lord of Knowledge, I will go, Lord. You might need me. So Dagda, God of Magic, and the Lord of Storm, Leo the Longarm, and Lord Ogma, Lord of Knowledge, went to find the harp. Now when they got to the castle where the Fomorians were, Ogma went ahead first. And Ogma creeped up. He looked in through the door. Fomorians were sleeping. Lord, there's no chance. We are outnumbered. Ten to one. The harp is at the back. But 30 Fomorian warriors against three of us. Dagla. What's this? Oh, harp, oh, harp, return to me. Oh, harp, oh, harp, return to king. Just like that. The harp 
sprung off the wall and it went tsh, 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 and landed in Edgar's arms. Now, with the movement, <coughs> some Fomorians did wake and some grabbed their swords and they were ready to battle. Ogmar, Lord, play a harp. And just like that, Dagda was free. Drums of his harp played the music of la la la. So much so that the Fomorians couldn't even hold, hold their hands. They had no one. Oh, they would clap so much in their belly. Oh, so, so hard. Oh, ah, ah. The three warriors escaped. Now, it wasn't long until the music faded. And the Fomorians woke and were angry. Whole army of fairy men on chase with the free warriors. Flew of the arm. Lord, Lord, they're catching us, they're catching us. Lord, Lord, play the harp. Thank that. Played three strings, which were the music. <laughs> Great! start crying and doesn't even know The three warriors on their way again. Until all the Fomorians and all their families and more Fomorians were given the biggest chase ever. When Dag this one. Last time this has been played. And with three strums of Booth and his harp, he played the music of Shopper and the Warriors fell in a deep sleep. Tell the three warriors we're away and they got back. The Bruna Bunya, today's new dreams, and that is where Ufna is today.